Welcome to All For You Castaro. We are back again with another channel message for the collective. We are just going to jump right in and get started. Oh, but before we do, I just want to take a moment and say hi and welcome to all the new subscribers. I am so, so, so happy to have you on board with us. Thank you for becoming part of the All For You Cast tribe. As always, it is an absolute honor and blessing to read for each and every single one of you. That being said, now we're going to jump in. Um, we did have two jumpers during the pre-shuffle here. We had the sun in the upright and the five of wands in the reverse. So I feel like I hear clear cut winner. So I don't know if it's some type of competition when it comes to um, standing out to a certain person or getting the job or getting the guy or getting the girl. But I just feel like for whatever reason, it's like you blew away the competition. Um, and I feel like there's a bit of happiness going on here. Um, I hear happy dance. So I feel like somebody's really excited that things are working out. Um, so now we're just going to really hop in and see um, if there's more to that or if that was just a very specific for someone and you're being acknowledged. It could be from spirit just saying that we see you and you've got it. Um, let's see. All right, we have temperance in reverse here. So we have balance in the reverse. Somebody's thrown a bit off. And then we have coming out of the cold. <laughs> This is actually kind of cute. Um, what I kind of got from this is someone has been thrown off balance emotionally. It's like someone comes back from the past or out from the cold or someone wants to bring you from out in the cold. It's like where they put you. Um, I don't know if they were wrong about a situation or wrong about you. Um, that did kind of come up today in the water sign read. So um, some of you could be water signs or dealing with one don't have to be of course you could be any sign but I am kind of getting that energy and then strength in reverse it's like maybe you kind of had to put yourself in the position to create your own happiness and um it's like outside of what you wanted with this person or outside of this connection um I feel like there was a collapse of this situation whatever it is um I feel like you had created your own emotional fulfillment and maybe you were just spending time with family or friends and um, I feel like this situation coming back kind of throws you a bit off balance and maybe tugs at your heartstrings in a strange way. Um, cause I feel like whoever this is that's coming back around that wants to kind of pull you out of the cold, yeah, it was someone you either had to stability with in the past it's a soulmate for sure um a really sweet one at that um I don't know if there was interference of some sort I kind of get that um but I feel like there was supposed to be or what both of you thought would be a really solid foundation um kind of got turned upside down somehow so I don't know if people interfered or it was fears that interfered or um, could have been anything really, but I feel like whatever it was, it threw this situation off kilter and, um, I feel like now there's a chance for things to come back around and we've got that victory energy. Look at that. Someone speaks how they're feeling, um, a message of love going on here. Someone wants to put these mental swords to rest. I feel like they realize that they have everything they need to make this, I hear, come full circle. It's like, yeah, they want to take you out of being single. Um, yeah, look at that. They want to offer that. Um, okay, so what I'm kind of getting here is there was some type of a big misunderstanding or some type of a... Something that created a circus is what I hear. A three-ring circus is kind of what I hear. It's like, I don't know if there were a lot of people involved or if it was two families involved or what was kind of going on here. But I feel like... Whatever this situation, the gist of it is, yeah, the gist of it is we have this Empress energy. Um, so whether you're masculine or feminine, I feel like the one I'm talking to is you kind of got kicked out of a situation and I feel like you, you weren't even aware of what you had actually done wrong. You weren't even really sure how you missed this opportunity and I feel like you didn't even see this coming whatever this situation was it's like one day things were going good and then like 
in the next minute or so, everything changed and you were on the outs and you and this person were at odds and it's like you didn't even know what was going on. You didn't know what you had done wrong. And I feel like it's because you didn't do anything wrong. Um, I kind of get that energy and I'm kind of getting really kind of frustrated with it. It almost feels like um, being wrongly accused. I see someone going like this and someone sitting there with their hands up like, I don't even know what you're talking about. I, I don't even know why you would accuse me of that. And that's kind of what I'm getting. And then, yeah, this, this kind of feels a lot like the air sign read, uh, air sign. No, water sign. You could be dealing with an air sign. Um, but no, I meant water. I just did the water uh, reading and it was very similar to this and things coming out this week. I feel like everything is going to get cleared up and I do feel like there, you know, it is going to create happiness between you and this person. I feel like now they know what they're getting. Before it... I don't know if they believed someone's lies. I am kind of getting that, although it's not right here. It's the whole gist of the same reading that I just did for the water sign. So it's like, yeah, it's like that burden is being let go of because it's like what you thought happened or, so I don't know what side you could be on. You could be on either side. You could be on the one that didn't know or understand what the heck was going on or why you got ousted out of a situation or why all of a sudden someone stopped kind of communicating with you or dealing with you. And I feel like, um, I feel like there were others involved. There were secrets involved here that never kind of came off the lips to inform you of what was going on. Or you're the one who's in the thick of this and couldn't decide if you were making a good decision or a bad decision by cutting off this empress. Um, could go either way. Yeah. There's no more need for a fight. It's like we see the cups behind us. Um, I feel like this all could be coming to light this week. Wow. Yeah. From death comes rebirth. Yeah, I feel like for a long time, this could have been on pause for a long time. This could have been, I want to say months up to years. This could have been like a really toxic situation. There could have been toxic people involved. I feel like, but here comes that love offer. Yeah, here it comes. Get ready. If this is your reading, um, this person's going to shock you by coming back around. It's like the very beginning. I'm surprised we didn't get that tower, but it's like we have temperance. So whatever it is, it throws you emotionally off balance um, because it's like maybe you were just healed from this situation and you thought that was just a past situation that was never going to come back around. So you went off in search of your own happiness and created it. You know, I feel like... Um, could have even started dating around. Don't have to, but could have. And I feel like you were in a you're in a good place. Um, I feel like no matter what place it is, you're just emotionally fulfilled. Um, and standing in this Empress energy, whether you're masculine or feminine. Um, yeah, and here's that clarity. I forgot to put the marble away. Um, from the last reading, I do feel like this has the similar energetic. So you could be dealing uh with a water sign, but you don't have to be. Like I said, this could be just a universal type energy that's kind of coming through here. All right, let's go to this next deck of cards here. All right, Spirit, what do we have for this collective? I heard pull it. We have the clouds in reverse. Okay, some are in reverse. Okay. Um, yeah, so I feel like whatever was kind of clouding the vision is kind of being blown away now. So I feel like this was a situation where there was strife or pain um, or heartache, but I feel like that's all going to change now. Yeah, look at that. It's all going to change. It's like, I don't know if it was a heart situation, so a love situation that caused a lot of pain. Um, one that you couldn't see very clearly what was going on. Maybe there was non-movement. Yeah, look at that, non-movement. Um, I feel like happiness comes back around. Why? Or what's going on here, spirit? Something 
about not taking a play out of someone's playbook. I don't know if... I feel like this could be your energy, what you had gone through, a painful situation, um, something that involved your heart and your heartstrings. I feel like because there was no movement, because... I hear you were getting the book thrown at you. So I don't know if you were being punished for crimes you didn't commit. This is, again, it seems very much like the last. And here's that sun uh, coming back out. So I don't know if that's just the energetic of uh, this upcoming energy. It's like things are be being righted by the universe. Or um, I feel like those things that were hidden are coming to light. Um, let's see. I feel like you had no one there to protect you. You were kind of holding your own. And I feel like you didn't take a play out of this person's playbook. You didn't turn yourself cold. You stayed in your warmth. You continued to move forward. Yeah, even when you had trouble seeing where you were going or seeing what your options were, it's like you very clearly stayed in your heart energy and in your love and in your light. Um, and I feel like you're going to be rewarded for that. Yeah. Um, I feel like you didn't allow that to become like a wound within yourself. Yeah, we have that tower in reverse. It's like, there it goes again. It's like that, um, that, that surprise moment that turns everything around. That's all that keeps coming out. It's amazing. There was loyalty in reverse and then an end. Again, I feel like it could have been with a friend or a family member. Um, yeah, them in reverse. It's like that's done and over with now. Wow. Very strange. There's a key to the situation. What is it? Some type of abundance coming in. Yeah, new growth. New growth and abundance. Where there was hurt, it, there, there'll be a healed energy now. Yeah, look at that. Grounding down a situation. It is literally the same exact reading, just with different cards. Um, that's the only story that keeps wanting to come through today. Um, so I feel like this is a really big story. So if you were kind of wronged in the past, now I'm talking either uh, months, years. Now this could be days, weeks, months, years. Um, it could, I feel like this is a situation or a vibration that has affected a great many people. Um, but do know that sun and happiness is coming back in. I feel like things are coming to light that will clear up this situation. And for some of you, it will, it will result in a new connection. Um, there's going to be a lot of talk about this situation and the truth is coming out. Yeah, you're going to be getting information soon. Things coming to light. Things that were hidden by the moon. Yes, you. Wow, there was somebody who was sneaky and underhanded in the situation. Yeah, I feel like that news is somebody's bringing you news of new growth. Yeah, and innocence in the situation. I feel like, yeah, look at that. You got cut out and you were innocent in the situation. Amazing. But the luck is, or I hear as luck would have it, uh, things are coming back around and people have been talking. I feel like this secret came out. Um, you know, what's done in the dark does come to light. That's just the way it goes. Um, it may take a little while, but it'll get there. Um, it, it always, you know, it all comes out in the wash. So let's see. Is there anything else? We have... <laughs> We have one more deck of cards. Let's see. Um, all right, Spirit. Can we get a different message, maybe? Uh, what's for the collective here? Abundance. Okay. Abundance and following the flow of energy. Yeah. The tiger balancing out and having a hand in. And I feel like the universe has a hand in. There's this rebirth energy, a rebirth into abundance. Um, and I do feel like it's a spiritual abundance. I feel like it's balancing you out. I feel like it's creating new opportunities. Um, I feel like there are just more ways coming about where you can uh, lend out a helping hand or to assist someone else. And I feel like it's that rebirthing energy that's kind of bringing you back in. Look, we have that 
that moon energy as well. Um, and mirroring. I feel like you're, you've just been mirroring spirits plan back to them. And I feel like there's an abundance or a certain level of abundance that's coming in to you because you're so giving or you're so loving or you're so tuned in. Maybe you're delivering messages. You could just be giving a helping hand. Um, so this doesn't have to be a very spiritual thing or look on the outside like a very spiritual thing, but just know that it comes from a very spiritual place. Um, so you could just be uh, considering yourself a normal everyday person who goes out and just is kind to others, who lends a helping hand. So you say you see somebody who's bogged down or you, um, so you lend a helping hand. You're like, hey, let me take some of that off your hands. You look like you're swamped. You know, just that little type of thing. And it's it's really actually kind of going into this karmic store of good energy that you've got going on. I feel like you have this very innocent energy. And um, I feel like a lot of good is coming in because of that. And I'm hearing something along the lines of, Oh, here, let me help you carry that. Or here, let me hold the door for you. Um, or, hey, that looks heavy. L let me give you a hand. Um, and that's kind of the energy that's kind of coming through. It's like you're doing things in the spiritual or in the physical that are affecting the spiritual and provide, and that is providing abundance to you in the here and now and, and rolling into the future. Um yeah, I feel like you have this very playful, fun, kind energy, and it's really showing. I feel like, see these vibes kind of coming out from this dolphin? I feel like this is you. I feel like you just have this really great, infectious, happy energy, and I feel like, yeah, I feel like <laughs> it might draw people out of their shell or out of their shyness or out of their quiet. Um, I just feel like you have a really infectious kind of personality and I feel like you're being blessed because of that. I feel like your gift is who you are and you're sharing that. And because you're sharing yourself in such wonderful ways, it's like karmically, you're just, uh, you've really earned that crown on your head. Yeah. Uh, spiritually, you're that amazing unicorn. I feel like you're this dolphin unicorn and you're amazing. I love it cheetah moving forward swiftly you might have new plans to move forward swiftly um i did hear fire sign we do have two fire signs here um and i'm seeing another one here but um you don't have to be or you could be dealing with a fire sign or soon to be let's see we have stingray in reverse i feel like you could be moving forward towards someone and helping them sort of come into their own or helping to open them up just a little bit. I'm kind of seeing this raccoon again. You might be introducing someone to spirituality or to the way that you move and it might help them uh, with their spiritual abundance. It's like maybe just taking a play from your playbook. You're kind, you're loving, you're gentle, you're helpful. Um, you've always got a smile for people and a kind word or uh, a bit of encouragement. Uh, or that boost like that, hey, you look great today. Or um, I hear I'm a noticer. Um, I'm actually getting a, a male tarot reader in my head. Um, so I don't know if it's just taking on that type of energy. Um, yeah, I'm seeing, a, I'm seeing a male tarot reader that I listen to every once in a while. He puts out a reading. Um, for my sign, but it's like, um, I feel like you just have that type of personality and your vibe is really strong. And I feel like maybe you're just coming into new relationships or the world is just kind of opening up to you. I feel like, you know, I feel like even when you had the opportunity, like to be a bah humbug type of person, and I'm talking like all year round, it's like you had enough situations in your life to make you that grumpy person or that huffy puffy person or that person that always feels like the victim. And, and I don't want to say like feels like the victim, but they weren't. I, I mean, like feels like the victim because they were, um, I feel like you didn't you didn't take on that energy and I feel like you could have. You could have easily because 
you know, I feel like you were going through a lot of things, but I feel like spirit's just trying to tell you, it's like the way you conducted yourself, the behavior, your behavior and your, your view on life and the way it should be your, the way your path should be walked. It's like, no matter what I've been through, it's all a blessing. You know, I learned so much and I've applied it. And I feel like because of that, you're really being blessed. You're really, I feel like you're just, I hear a cornucopia of blessings. So it's like, I feel like that's what's going on here. In the face of adversity, you continue to grow and expand. And, you know, I feel like you're shining like your best self. And uh, you might not even think that you've particularly had a glow up in the way that you look. But I feel like your vibration has affected the way that you look. Your eyes are brighter. Um, you're just healthier. You have that vi that vitality. And I feel like that radiates from you. And I keep I can't get the vision of this one person out of my mind. So <laughs> um, awesome energy. Yeah. Now I did say a masculine, but this could be a feminine. You can be a feminine listening to this or masculine doesn't matter. But I feel like, um, I feel like this is your energy and you're being blessed because of it. I really, really love this. Yeah. Shining stars when I hear, and I feel like this is how you're growing. You've been really resilient with this starfish. You know, they lose their limbs. They keep going. They lose a piece of themselves. They keep growing and regenerating. It's like you've healed your own heart. You've nursed your own wounds. You didn't take that ill energy out on anyone else. Um, and you've always tried to just give it your best moving forward. And I think um, spirit sees that and that's what really makes you so magnificent in spirit's eyes and I feel like you're getting blessed because of that um, you might have some new happy things coming in very quickly um, yeah and I feel like I did see that where'd that go oh oh here it is um, we did have the Luna Moth so I feel like it's things you don't even see coming that are going to come in and bless you as well Really gorgeous energy. Super happy for you. I love that. I love that energy. Keep doing that work. And for those of you who aren't there yet, um, keep working on you um, and you will get there. I promise. All right. We have the two of clouds here with indecision. So let's see. Kind of what I hear piggyback off of. So we have indecision energy here. We don't know which way to go with that two of clouds. So let's see. Okay, so somebody's trying to figure out where they want to go in life, where you want to build, where you want to put your energy in to, I hear bang for your buck. So it's like you want to be able to create that uh, legacy for yourself and for those who come after you, right? Um, or those around you now. Let's see. Maybe you had to come out of a victim mentality here with that eight of clouds. Maybe you felt trapped in a situation that was halting your movement, but now you're at a place where you want to start um, making a choice where you want to go, where you want to build, where you want to put your effort and energy into. I feel like Maybe you just need to lean on those around you um, or ask those around you, those that you trust, you know, what are my strong suits? Where do you think I would shine? And just get a, get some opinions from those around you. Um, it might help you to see strengths that you didn't know you, you particularly were showing or that you had. Um, I feel like you need to let go um, of what you... Maybe a way that you've seen yourself in the past. I feel like that outdated belief of who you are and what you can accomplish. I hear bust through the glass ceiling. So it's like, um, yeah, take that leap of faith for yourself. I feel like um, I feel like you have so much more to offer than you can truly see. I feel like. You just don't see yourself in a good light or in a good enough light to really see yourself accomplishing something so big as this Ten of Pentacles here, this legacy energy. I feel like get that determination back. Um, turn up that charm. It's there. Again, unlearn. I feel like sometimes we have to unlearn things that, uh, you know, we go through life, we learn lessons, 
and we take on information that we feel may work for us for a time. And that's great. It's all well and fine to help us get through that stage in life. But sometimes we also have to take the time to let things fall away that no longer serve because we are growing, because we are experiencing that some of these things can't can't go the long haul. What worked in the past, you know, isn't always going to work in the now. So unlearn things and especially the way you look at yourself. Um, maybe you went through a stage in life where maybe you didn't love the way you were acting or you didn't love the way that you were conducting yourself, right? Um, forget about that time. It's like you've healed, you've grown from there. You're a different person now. So change your view on yourself. Look in the mirror and see with clarity. Um, yeah, look at that emotional maturity. I feel like there's a lot that's taken place in between the then and the now, um, that have made you this different person. And I feel like you're fully capable of creating these really great experiences. Look, we have Ascension. I feel like you can start moving and growing your world and expanding. I hear not need, but want. And I feel like maybe you're fine where you are. Maybe you don't need to step outside and grow anymore. Um, or you feel like you're in a comfortable place. But I feel like there isn't a need to do it, but there's a want is what I hear. There's a want to, um, to keep improving oneself. To keep striving for better. We have the lovers. Yeah, and I feel like that's the choice you make. Um, the lovers is often a choice, right? Um, so I feel like that's the choice you're making to stay on that path of um, growing and loving and experiencing generosity and giving. I feel like you're giving of your time, your energy, your effort. Maybe you share what you've been through to help others get through, like um, to help them... Uh, to be that way shower for someone who's gone through similar experiences as you. I feel like maybe back then, whenever that time was that you, you know, the lens you keep seeing yourself through, through that past person's eyes. It's like, I, it, it's a scarcity mentally. So I feel like maybe you weren't in a good place then. And sometimes you still wonder if you're, you know, if you've fallen back into that or you've uh, mentally just backslid into something. Um, and I feel like we all have those moments where we have that choice to make. Are we going to act in our new energy or are we going to um, act out in our shadow uh, aspects, right? Um, yeah, I hear there's no competition. I love that. I, and I'm getting what I heard the other day. It's like, I feel like you don't compete. I feel like there's no need to compete and you know that. I feel like you're in a really good place now. And I feel like mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, I feel like you're in a really great place. Um, and I feel like you're in a place where you can create anything. I am seeing the magician. So it's like you have everything you need. I feel like maybe there's just that fear that you're gonna backslide uh, and become the person you were. And I feel like that's the scariest thing for you. It's like not wanting to be uh, who you were then or to slide back into that uh, place that you were then. Um, I feel like you just know that there's no competition. It's like, I just want to be a better person than I was yesterday. And I feel like that is the most gorgeous mentality. It's like, I'm not looking at you as if you're my enemy or you're my competition. It's like, even if we're doing the same thing, we're vying for the same position. It's like, I don't look at people that way. And I feel like that's how you are kind of reacting and I feel like that's why good things are coming to you because you're not in that um egoic competitive energy it's like I just want to I want the best for everyone and if I'm not the best for this position or if I'm not the best for um this relationship then I'm going to go off in search of what I am the best the best fit for um and there's no no hatred no ill feelings and I kind of feel like that's why you're being blessed in this situation. Yeah, look at that. Every end is a new begin again. And look at that wealth. Um, you know, you could have some type of mentality going on where you don't have or you haven't in the past had a good relationship with money. 
Uh, work on those monetary mantras. I feel like that might help you uh, to form a better connection. Um, like, it's okay for me to be wealthy. It's okay for me to be abundant. And I'm comfortable with my abundance. Um, you know, it's okay for my wallet to be filled. And, you know, it's like, I don't know if there's just that relationship there with money that I am hearing something along the lines of I don't like rich people or I never did like rich people and then it stops you from becoming abundant because you've put all these rich people in a category of unkindness and so you feel like you don't fit there. Um, so there's just that kind of block that's going on there um, that I feel like needs to be healed within yourself. So allow that to fall away and I feel like your abundance will start just rolling in for you. I feel like it's all waiting on the outskirts. It's just like you have these couple of little speed bumps that you got to kind of uh, get over here and I feel like a lot of that has to deal with your IMs and your power statements. So work on those. Um, work on feeling comfortable with monetary abundance because I feel like that's going to finally put you uh, where you need to be. Okay? Um, gorgeous energy. Keep growing. Keep expanding. I feel like you have it in you to become and to continue to keep on becoming uh, a better and better and better version of yourself. I love that you don't put a cap on your energy and I love that you're uh, non-competitive and you only want what's for you. I think that's such a beautiful way to be. Um, so allow me to take a page out of your playbook. I'm going to try and adopt that for myself, right? Um, let's see what we've got here. We are going to pull. I do kind of see myself pouring as well. Let's see. H and E and S and A. I heard Xavier and an XR. So somebody's X could have an R, first or last name. B K. <laughs> Someone going to Burger King. <laughs> uh, six or a nine. A K. A Y and N. Another N and O. A T and not. So. Not what? I hear not yours. Okay. I don't know if someone is being a little aggressive with you, as a side note. Um, like, this person is not yours, okay? And it's kind of like a, or a, this opportunity is not yours, okay? And I'm kind of getting that nasty type of energy. Um, ignore people like that. Um, they're not they're not happy within themselves, and so they'll try and take it out on you. Um, just keep going and glowing. And if, if that's a position that you want to go for, go for it. Um, I feel like if that's a person who is interested in you and you're interested in them go for it. Okay. Um, don't allow anyone to kind of stand in your way with their, their yucky low energy. Okay. Um, so as a side note, all right, let's swipe this. I have an M stuck to me here, an N, a V, an O, a T, and an E. All right. I heard not my vote or you didn't get my vote. I don't know. That could be for someone. All right. We have a snowflake here. So uniqueness. I feel like you just stand out. You've got emperor, empress energy here. You're steering your ship in the right direction. It's like that magic here. I feel like something very specific could be happening uh, come spring for you. You could be planning um, a getaway in the spring, um, somewhere tropical, or um, for those of you who are not planning a getaway in the spring, um, I do feel like uh, you do have something happening or something good coming in in the spring that's going to create peace. So I don't know if it's like some type of abundance that frees up some of your time or your energy, um, or someone steps in to help in some way. It could be a love, situation that kind of comes in and creates a sense of peace. 
again, I'm getting song signs. Um, and I, I'm hearing ancestral, ancestor when I touch this one. So I don't feel like this is toxic love coming in. I do feel like your ancestors could be sending you song signs at this time because I kind of feel like these connect. I'm hearing same skull. So um, you could have someone who has just passed or even crossed over for quite a while who's sending you songs, um, maybe encouragement or a special song that they uh, maybe used to play all the time and you might be hearing it. Um, I feel like that's just their way of letting you know that they're around, that they're close by, that they love you, that they're supporting you, um, that you're never really alone. Uh, so I am getting that type of energy here. Um, they could be sending you signs as to what's coming up for you because a lot of times our ancestors get so excited because they know when good things are coming in for us before we do. Of course, you know, they're, they're all a part of spirit. So it's like they get really excited when they see something good coming in for us. Um, they might be sending you signs that kind of like, you're like, I don't even know what that means. It's like you're aware they're sending you signs, but I feel like it'll all make sense in retrospect um, and something that will be maybe even quite funny. Um, that you'll be able to take with you and tuck in your heart. So really cute energy. Um, you just have somebody that loves you. They could have a G um, initial, first or last name. Uh, that's for some, not for all, but that just kind of happened. <laughs> all right. Uh, that is what I have for you all today. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to become part of the Afiyukis tribe. Until next time, friends. Bye.